Two possibilities exist. Either we are alone in the universe or we are not. Both are equally terrifying. So let's take a look at the most awe-inspiring NASA photos of all times. If this is your first time visiting us, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and remember to hit that bell icon to receive all updates from future videos. Number 1. Juno Beholds a Jovian Giant While we may have sadly lost the stalwart spacecraft Cassini, we still have plenty of other probes and bots on the ground and in orbit braving the cosmos on our behalf. One of these crafts, Juno, recently finished a flyby of Jupiter and the image above was snapped during its latest rendezvous. Juno launched in August 2011 and after a slingshot around planet Earth, the craft arrived at Jupiter in the summer of 2016. Now every 53 days, the craft passes the gas giant just 2,600 miles above the atmosphere. With each of these close encounters, the onboard camera, informally known as JunoCam, snaps images for about two hours as the probe travels from the planet's North Pole to the South Pole. Number 2. Mars Water World Similar to Earth, our planetary neighbour Mars, too, has ice caps at its northern and solar poles. However, unlike our polar caps, these Martian formations are comprised of water ice and carbon dioxide ice. The massive Martian polar cap depicted in the video is more than 600 miles across. Along the Chasma Boreal, a flat valley within this formation, these icy walls rise more than 4,500 feet above the surface. Winters on Mars last about one Earth year, making the ice caps a less than optimal location for a human outpost. However, due to the proximity to water, this area has potential as a seasonal base. Number 3. A bidding farewell to a stalwart spacefarer For the past 13 years, the Cassini spacecraft has called the Saturian planetary system home. Logging nearly 5 billion miles on its cosmic odometer, in this time span the probe has completed 294 planetary orbits and more than 160 flybys of many of the planet's 53 confirmed moons. Transmitting invaluable data and imagery back to us Earthlings nearly 900 million miles away. Earth is in the pale blue dot in the right hand portion in the photo. Unfortunately, in the finicky quantum universe we live in, nothing lasts forever and on September 15th, the Cassini mission came to a bittersweet conclusion. Number 4. Pluto's Polygons In July 2015, the New Horizon craft gave mankind its first up-close personal look at the dwarf planet formerly known as our ninth planet, Pluto. When NASA began combing through these transmitted images, the team was initially taken aback by a patchwork of seemingly fresh polygonal shapes atop Sputnik Planum, an equatorial sea of frozen nitrogen. These findings and others indicate the dwarf planet is surprisingly still geologically active. An article published in The Nature suggests these cells could be the result of subsurface convection, a process that replaces older surface materials with fresh ice over time. Number 5. Hurricanes of Jupiter the Juno spacecraft snapped this photo of the gas giant Jupiter in August, taken from an altitude of about 32,000 miles. We can see the planet's south pole and dozens of Earth-sized hurricanes in stunning detail. The probe arrived at the planet in June and makes a flyover every 53 days, at which point the probe uses eight instruments to collect data for roughly two hours. Once this information has been transmitted back to Earth, this file takes 36 hours for NASA to download. Number 6. Global Maps of Earth at Night Earlier this year, NASA started releasing global maps of Earth at night, known as nightlights. Until recently, these images were only produced roughly once a decade. However, NASA is now analyzing these intricate images more regularly for a host of economic, social science and environmental applications. Researchers will soon be able to produce high-definition images daily, and NASA is currently comparing these photographs, like this composite shot from 2016, to better project regional and global carbon dioxide emissions. Number 7. Global Dust Storms Hubble turned 27 on April 20th and to celebrate, this week's photo is one of our favourite images the Space Telescope has snapped of Mars to date. In 2001, Hubble took this photo of the red planet during a massive global dust storm. Mars has a rather thin atmosphere, however, winds can reach more than 60 miles an hour, carrying small sediments miles above the surface. While the vast majority of these events last only a few days, sometimes these incredible storms can blanket the planet in a rusty haze for weeks. The 2001 global dust storm, for example, lasted more than three months, and the 16-mile-high volcano. Number 8. The Potential for Extraterrestrial Life 
The Galileo spacecraft captured this composite image of Jupiter's moon Europa in the late 1990s. Researchers believe Europa is home to a global ocean of liquid water nearly 60 miles deep, beneath a frozen exterior. If this turns out to be true, Europa would contain more than twice as much water as Earth. Europa's distance from Jupiter varies due to its orbital pattern, causing flexing along the surface. These disproportionate gravitational tugs are responsible for creating the ridges and cracks along the surface, producing these intricate markings as regions continuously shatter and freeze. Number 9. Blue Skies on the Red Planet A curious sunset indeed. The Curiosity rover's mast cam snapped this breathtaking Martian sunset during a sky-watching test on April 15, 2015. This specific image was taken between dust storms and the faint blue phase is the result of sunlight reflecting off of the dust that lingers in the atmosphere. The Curiosity team often captures both twilight and sunset images to gauge how high in the atmosphere the dust extends. Number 10, Ice Mountains and Cryovolcanoes on Pluto. The New Horizons mission gave us our first close-up look at the dwarf planet Pluto in 2015, revealing a truly bizarre world. Photographed at a distance of 11,000 miles from the surface, this picture reveals the dwarf planet in stunning detail. The relatively smooth region depicted in the right portion of the image is known as Sputnik Planum, a series of jagged mountains extending as far as 11,000 feet, high dominant to the left position of the image. The Norgay Montes formation is also highlighted in the foreground. Number 11, Cosmic Collisions. This photograph was snapped by the Cassini spacecraft nearly 1.4 million miles from Saturn. In the right portion of the shot, you can see a hazy debris field inside the planet's F ring, which is normally the result of a collision. This disruption was likely caused by Saturn's small moon, Pandora, seen in the bottom right portion of the photograph. However, the impingement could also have been the result of an interaction between other objects within the ring. Since these objects are often very small, however, tracking and identifying such an event is exceptionally complicated. Number 12, Pluto's Sapphire Silhouette. The New Horizons spacecraft spent more than six months studying Pluto and the dwarf planet's moon, Charon. In the latter half of 2015, backlit by the sun, this high-resolution true color image of Pluto was taken on July 14, 2015. This vibrant, Hazy layers in the photo extend more than 120 miles above the Plutonian surface. It's believed that this gorgeous blue haze is a photochemical smog, which is the direct result of the sun acting on methane and other molecules in the planet's atmosphere. Number 13, Ocean Moon. For decades, scientists were perplexed by Saturn's ultra-bright moon Enceladus, which remains the most reflective object in our solar system. The mystery behind the moon's radiance was finally explained. However, during the Cassini mission in 2005, data from the flyby revealed that Enceladus is home to a vast saltwater ocean on the surface. This ocean is frozen, but beneath the dense layer of ice lies a liquid ocean heated by active hydrothermal vents. Jets of ice and water gush through the surface at more than 800 miles an hour. Some of this material continues into space, some of it rains back down onto the moon, and the remaining material actually escapes only to quickly become part of Saturn's iconic rings. Number 14, Deep Impacts. This is a photo of the comet Temple 1, taken by the Deep Impact space probe in 2005. Up until this mission, little was known about the interior composition of comets. The Deep Impact flyby craft snapped this image just seconds after the payload impactor intentionally collided with the comet. Instrumentation revealed the comet to be significantly less icy than scientists had initially expected. Number 15, Craggy Moons. This is Saturn's third largest moon, Iapetus. The natural satellite's most prominent feature is the dense ridge that runs along the bulk of its equator. This equatorial ridge has peaks reaching up to six miles high, making these individual mountains some of the tallest in our solar system. This ridge was discovered by NASA's Cassini spacecraft in 2004. The Voyager missions during the late 70s and 80s were the first to provide detail of these geological features, and thus they are informally known as the Voyager Mountains. Number 16, Saturnian Hurricanes. The Cassini satellite completed its original four-year mission to explore the Saturn and its moons in 2008, and it's still snapping detailed photographs of the beautiful ringed planet today. This incredible image is a close-up of Saturn's North Pole Hurricane, the first close-up ever taken of the infamous storm. The clouds at the edge are travelling at roughly 335 miles an hour. The eye of the hurricane itself is roughly 1,200 miles wide 
To put that into perspective, the United States is about 2,800 miles across. Number 17, the Milky Way. Thanks to two of the biggest space telescopes working together, here's the sharpest picture ever made of the galactic core. With so much mention of the Milky Way throughout the other entries, it only makes sense to finish with a photo of exactly that. Here's a composite image of the center of our galaxy. It was made by combining infrared camera and multi-object spectrometer of the Hubble with color photos from the Spitzer Space Telescope. What you can see in the image is about 20,000 light years away and 300 light years across. So, that's all. Which of these photos did you find the most awe-inspiring? Let us know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.